In this episode, we're going to talk about a peace of mind bed bug service. And what that means is helping your clients that think they might have bed bugs can, and can't confirm it sleep well at night. everybody to Bedbook TV. I'm your host Jeff White and in today's episode we're going to talk about a peace of mind bedbook service and so for your pest control professionals out there what does that mean? Well let's say you have a client that you know is being bitten by something and you've been out to inspect the home and, and you for the life of you can't find anything but sure enough they're reacting to something and something is going on and maybe those bites are even consistent with bed bugs. and so it's like well there might be a low level infestation there, but I can't detect it. And it happens to all of us. I totally get it. Uh, the question is, you know, what do you do about that? You've got a client that's, that's freaking out because they think they have bed bugs. You don't want to treat unless you can confirm the problem. And so you tell them typically, you know, well, listen, we'll install monitors and maybe we'll do a, an inspection, you know, next week or then two weeks, or whatever the case may be. But to be honest with you, put yourself in their shoes. Is that enough? You know, I know if I'm sleeping in my bed and I'm getting bit by something and all signs point to bed bugs, just keep an eye on it may not be enough. I mean, we've encountered many clients and, and like I said, in personally in my own life, I don't know that that would be enough. And so what can you offer them to put them more at ease, to help them sleep better at night? And so that's what we're calling our peace of mind bed bug service. And so I think there's really four different options and we'll go through each one. First of which, which is what we talked about already, which are monitors. You know, I think there's two components to this program you know, beyond the basic visual inspection that you should consider almost in all instances. And one of which, as I said, is monitors. Whether it's under the leg interception devices like Blackout or standalone interception devices like the Active Volcano, you can install monitors in that, that home and that will help you identify bed bugs if they are in fact there. We know these guys will detect 95% or more of all infestations within two weeks of being installed. Now obviously the shortcoming of underleg interception devices is they need to be cleaned periodically and you have to move the bed in order to install them. Standalone devices will detect 80% of all bed bug infestations within about four weeks. Now the pro, so it detects a few less infestations, but these don't have to be cleaned due to their design and the bed doesn't have to be picked up in order to install and check them later on down the road. And so just two different options to consider. And so that was option one, installing monitors. Helps find the problem if it is in fact there. Option two, which I think should almost always be considered in this peace of mind instance, is some sort of proactive uh, pesticidal dust application, such as let's say Cymexa dust. And there's many others out there you can go out and, and do your research on different dusts. But we've seen pest control professionals going in in situations like that and following label directions, putting the dust in areas where bed bugs are known to travel. And so around bed legs, along bed frames, maybe on the bottom of the box spring in strategic locations, along baseboards where we know bed bugs are going to move to gain access to the bed. Areas, the bottom line is almost like a liquid residual baseboard or basic type treatment, but instead with Cymexa dust. And you could do this also with a liquid residual. There's nothing saying you couldn't do that. I just think most research has suggested that Cymexa may be one of the most, you know, effective dusts that we have. And again, there are other dusts out there by many manufacturers. You can do your research, but the bottom line is some sort of proactive, effective treatment to address any straggling bed bugs that may be walking around that you just couldn't visually detect. And so those are the two that I would almost always consider. Now the third is, of course, what we talked about before, a visual inspection. You could go in every week, every two weeks, and conduct a visual inspection. And maybe the homeowner does that themselves if, if they've got the right training material, a video online. There's lots of videos on Bedbug TV you can go reference. Um, or you come in and do it every week to two weeks. You know, both of those are viable options. But conducting a periodic visual inspection is another thing you consider. And then lastly, and I shouldn't even say lastly, but the fourth option is, of course, uh, mattress and or box spring encasements. Now, obviously, that box spring is very complicated. Bugs could easily hide inside of it. You can't find them. What can you do about it? Well, you can take a box spring encasement. You can put it on that box spring. And that alone might solve an infestation where there's two bed bugs. Uh, you could also obviously encase the mattress as well, which could then be sold as, as a way to protect their mattress and box spring moving forward. Uh, but either way, that's something you can consider that can be effective at providing these tenants a peace of mind. 
Um, and so basically that's kind of the overview of things, you know, monitors, some sort of proactive pesticidal treatment, cymexa dust or other, um, encasements on the mattress and or box spring, and probably the box spring may be most important, and then of course a visual inspection periodically, whatever that may be. But the bottom line is, is these are the types of things that are hopefully putting people at ease if they got something going on. And I had this happen in my own personal life. You know, I had a situation with one of my little guys that, that was waking up with bites and man, they sure look like bed bugs to me. And you know, in my own home, I was sitting there thinking about what to do. And I was just going to install monitors and quite frankly, I wasn't comfortable with it in my own house. Now we didn't end up having bed bugs, but just putting monitors under my five-year-old's bed, you know, and, and then watching him wake up in the morning with some sort of bites was not cool. You know, I needed to do something more than that. And so what happens, it's something for you to consider as the pest control industry of a different type of service that you can offer for people that have things going on that you can't confirm. If you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I hope to see everybody soon enough.